Hi, Joe. It's October, your favorite holidays. And so I would like to do something a little different for you. We got 100 Baby Black Widow going on. Elise kills guys and she lives, she has her own cemetery. She has a whole, you know, death garden and can't really get more Halloween-y than Elise. She is kind of our expert when it comes to things of darkness or death itself. For the next few episodes, Elise is going to try some new murder techniques. I am not going to be bringing in new misters. She is going to feast on townies. I would like for them to be occult. I would need to get Elise out of the house the bar or maybe just start in her own neighborhood. Let's catch up to where we left off. Elise has eight kids in the house. In the last episode, we moved out Alphania and Ted to our first set of kids. This certificate was awarded to Myra Three Fisher for losing her first baby tooth. There we go. One kid down. That's a really good picture. You have some babies. Whose babies are up there? Sydney's babies. Yeah, he's the last one. Gerard and Myra. Iron. These are such good kids. Brandy's doing her homework. Bridget's doing her homework. Finish your homework. Okay, Milo's gonna cook. Inhale life essence. Okay, now you have 27 days. He's here doing her homework. Come get food, kids. Potty training, potty training. At least you went to take your nap before you took care of the kids. Oh my gosh, no, you horrible mother. The kids are first. Oh my gosh, didn't you learn that like in stage one? You're at like level 10 parenting. You're gonna come potty train the baby. Okay, the kids are doing their extra credit on their their own. Look, your mom is calling. She wants to get to know Jeffrey Langrab better. Maybe that's great, mom. Yes. And maybe she can bring him over and that would make a great first suspect. But he's not in a cult. You're going to go out and meet a cult. All right. Stick to the program. Maybe that's later. Back burner. Potty tra oh, good. The toddlers are getting trained. There you go. You're going potty now. Elise, it's 2 p.m. I have to go out whoring, girl. Come on. I think I'll get myself something to eat. Or maybe I'll just stand here awkwardly while I starve to death. Mm hmm. And this this one's here, doing gone. Oh, who made this mess? All right, these kids are doing projects and stuff. Oh my gosh, they're like wonderful kids, doing extra credit, doing projects. Lamar, you need to get a skill up right around on your bike. All right, you gotta go out, and then you gotta come back and these babies up. I'm such a good mommy, Elise. The occult bar is at Moonwood Mill. Mm-hmm. Here we are. Dad, you needed to stay home with the kids. Find some occult baby makers. Is he an occult? Yes, he's a werewolf. Okay. All right, so Elise is here at Moonwood Mill. She's met the bartender, Benny Scanlon, who is a werewolf. Saturday night, shouldn't this place be hopping? Do you think you can handle a werewolf? Girl, you are here to meet a cult. So now work on your dancing skills. Look who's here. Back on introduction, you're meeting a vampire. All right, let's see how this is going to go down with Elise and Caleb. I think she'll be fine. Um, a vampire might be easier than a werewolf. It's like, what if they break my house when I'm in there? I would need to kill them fast. I would definitely need to use a different murder alternative on a werewolf. But on a vampire, I think I just I can even take them outside and kill them, right? Don't they? Aren't they like sunlight will kill them? Will he respond to me? Yes. Come on. Do you want to have little vampire babies? We need more vampires in the land. I know you live forever and all. I mean, you think you do, right? But do you think you're gonna live forever, Caleb? Is that why you became a vampire? But what about living more than forever, forever, forever through your kids? I think he's down with that. Listen, don't listen to what they say about me. That's just because those other men were not vampires. You'd be safe as a vampire because you are eternal. Mm-hmm. So don't worry about it. Mm -hmm. Yes. Hello, guys. I think he's a mermaid. Don't make people jealous. So you have a little man spark because we're sure about him. Well, you've got so many possibilities here. Oh, he did he left? Oh, and he just became good friends with me. I don't know. I must have some special powers. All I need to do to find out everything is come here, control, sim, and now I can see he's a spellcaster. At least go home. You do not have time to be just hanging out here. Bye, guys. You guys can sit here and get to know each other and maybe enjoy your last moments in this sim world. It's 10 o'clock at night. I see several projects have been started. Nobody's terribly hungry or terribly sleepy. Even the toddlers are in pretty good shape. What are you doing up here, little girl? 
girl. Myron's gonna be in Wiggly. H of Gerard. Gerard aged up and Gerard is gonna be, mm, oh, what is that? It's like, oh, calm, that's good. Elise, you need to give him a tummy time. Wake him up, I'm gonna do another one. Do a tummy time, get on these kids. I want skills happening, getting everybody working. Let's go, let's see it, chop, chop. Order delivery, some spaghetti. Hey, order that. Let's get some milk, cheeses, flour, bread, sugar, get a couple more meats. We are going to do nothing but stand here and wait for that. Is it because I ordered in the middle of the night? Oh, where's my deliveries? I am literally standing here waiting on the delivery. Three in the morning, yes. And the food delivery is not gonna come. I know it's not. I'm gonna keep Lamar up all night. Is that not enough? Eat it. Still keeping my eye on the front door. And then Elise is gonna go to bed as well. And I'm still watching the front and nothing. And still no groceries and no food delivery. I think it just should not have let me order all that after you feed the kids. You need to take care of your garden. Nothing on the deliveries yet. You gotta get to your garden, girl. Concerned about the food situation. Oh, accept delivery. Accept delivery. Okay, did you accept both deliveries? Unload delivery bag. Where's the other freaking delivery bag? But I didn't make it for the meals on time. See? Oh, I can just order the meals again. Food delivery. All right, let's get a bunch of BLT sandwiches. 50. By delivery person. I didn't get to the other guy in time. Gerard needs a attention bad except delivery now get me this time woman unload delivery bag i'm not tipping well maybe you should tip her because she did actually show up not like the other ones that didn't wait for you to come and even take the food okay good that's how you do it oh and look at these two here just oh they're so cute all right so everything's working out here now inhale life essence and you'll go from 26 to 27 body training okay he did reach i'm getting fed that's wonderful toddler here needs food who's hungry get your food keep looking for it hey leave me alone i've got to pick a husband i mean a daddy there's no husbands okay no husbands at least you gotta decide who you're gonna call over we have vampire mermaid werewolf or spellcaster i think she should start with her neighbor the kid not happy where are you taking him i don't want to go to bed oh gerard another gassy one like ted was come on over caleb you're just a house away oh there he is of course he's quick he's a vampire i know my house is messy i've got a lot of kids she's going for the vampire what if you can't kill him hey caleb i like those sharp teeth you have give me a hug oh yes don't bite me yet mm-hmm is he in a bad mood he's not into you listen caleb oh he's mischievous okay he likes to play like that you need to be playful this other sims airs of being full of themselves okay yeah caleb you're not that charming actually oh shit at least this this may not work out for you oh he's cleaning the bathroom oh i thought you were running away from me little girl you are messing mommy's thing here why is she so angry you're flirty now oh, caleb this is a bit weird courting you here with my kids chaperoning but it, that's fine we attempt to get closer to you i'm being very careful because you're a vampire and i don't know if you're gonna try to eat me or not there you go mm -hmm. oh yeah i think you're liking that aren't you yes let's take this into the kitchen it's much more intimate here i was thinking of making a pizza but i'm scared to burn the house down so i want to wait to meet with you first things are moving along with the vampire try for baby with caleb Ayla, would you like to give me a baby just friendly neighborly thing just to help the vampire population once you give me a baby we will continue to be neighbors i can promise you that even after i have your baby you may not live where you live now or elise and caleb now we're not gonna do a death flower for him because he's a vampire thank you caleb come on elise caleb is leaving are you pregnant okay good oh caleb vampires are fast okay he's gone Judith has come upon some hard times, I guess, because she's going through my garbage. Hope things get better for you, Judith. Dad, don't be looking at me like that all judgy. I've got to collect these bees. I don't, I feel like shit. I need to get the bees fired up. I got to be ready. Caleb's going to come over and I got to get rid of him somehow. I want to talk to you, evil chickens. All right, Sonny and Winky Winky. I'm going to bring Caleb over. Elise, can you make the pizza? And then we will call Caleb over. Mm-hmm. Guys, I'm making pizza for dinner and Caleb will be right over. Come in, Caleb. The pizza's ready. 
attack him with your bees. And while you're here, Elise, collecting your swarm, collect Sunny and Weeky Weeky. So Elise gathered her bees and gathered her killer chickens. I mean, her chickens with the fiery eyes. Will she make it on time to visit Caleb? Come on, guys. All right, Elise, first you send the bees. Stop eating shit with Brandy. Elise, he's going to leave. Send the bees. Go, yes, go get him. How are they? Oh, oh did, did they kill him? Are you gonna die? Is that good? No, just annoyed him. Oh, and he's kind of turned on by it. I guess we'll try the chickens next. Are you guys ready? All right, Weeky Weeky and Sunny. Weeky Weeky now has the fiery chicken magic of the evil chickens and can use it to ward off foxes, household enemies, vampires, and even the Grim Reaper. Caleb, I gotta figure out how you're gonna die. The evil chicken said they would help me kill you. I'm gonna talk to the rabbits as well. Please found this beautiful white little rabbit named Poison, as in I'm gonna kill you. And she needs to get this rabbit's help. Caleb, you're not going anywhere. We gotta click close to Poison to get rid of Caleb because chickens are gonna help me. The bees went, but he got turned on by the bees, so that didn't work out. Listen, bunny, I'm gonna give you a flower and I want you to go and kill Caleb, okay? Will you do that for me if I give this to you? Yes, I will. Give it to me. Let's see if the bunny will do it. The bunny rabbit is coming to... Oh, oh, Poison, you are very effective. This is the way it has to be. Oh my gosh, why does everybody get so sad? Here's Grim. Here we go again. Yeah, at least I didn't have to keep this one in here for days. The babies have witnessed everything. At least you didn't need to do this in front of the kids, really. Oh my gosh, this is a horrible scene. You should have taken them into the dungeon to do that. It's like a family event. Oh my goodness. You didn't have to get the kids involved as well. Oh, there he is. It's time for Elise and Grim to have their routine conversation. Hey, Grim. That's just the sweetest, isn't it? Well, Grim, where were we? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna have another baby. Can I have some money? 173. You are getting really cheap ass on me. It's Halloween. I'm gonna be extra active. I gotta go. It's super dark. Life is getting underway in the household. The kids are getting ready to leave to school, grabbing their breakfast. It is time for you to go to school. Are you gonna get your teeth brushed? You guys have a good day at school. Work hard. I'm so sorry you had to see a vampire killed. Bye, guys. Have a good day. Elise, come feed this kid. You just need to tend to the kids. Some out for the toddlers. Okay, Elise just has very little to do. Oh my god, why is she grabbing him? Stop it. Whatever. And then everybody's gonna age up. How's this one doing on potty train? She's good. Oh, do it again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect. You got your rollover. All right, everybody is almost ready to age up. We're just waiting for her to go potty. You're gonna get a bath and then you'll age. You can age up. Everybody's aging up today. This is gonna be an age up fest. Everybody in the whole house. Oh, finally, Gerard aged up. Gerard is gonna be inquisitive. Wake up. I think everything in the kitchen is working. All right, Milo is making the cake. Myron aged up. So Myron's a toddler. Dasani's gonna age up. You're gonna be squeamish. Mind and body, where is it? Yes, that one. Amber, it's time to be a big girl. Oh, Lamar doesn't get to age up. Amber aged up. Art lover. Oh, mind and body, yeah. Myra is gonna move out. Oh, Lamar's about to die. All right, let me have you clean up, age up, Bridget, and Brandy. Movie buff, goal oriented, Bridget, aged up, there goes Brandy. Now the only one left is Myra. I gotta get these uh, pictures on the wall though for both of them. Drama llama. So we have Myra here, naked boy. Nice. Or I can go into cast already. There's everybody. Okay. Brandy is five. Cute. There you go. Okay. Okay, so that is the Sunny Six. Mm-hmm. Okay. Nice. Maybe this one. There. I get you. Myra, before you move out, can you please clean up? Look at these kids everywhere. And Milo decided to take a break. At least you do you overuse him and abuse him. I want a scheduled maid. I like these outfits. Look at Amber. She's my fave so far because she was born with that gray hair. And I just think it's so pretty. Is that poison? That's a good, good bunny. Myra is now a young adult. You're encouraging. And you want a big, happy family. Ted too has come to visit. We gotta remove you from the family. It was a pleasure having you. You are on our wall. Come on, Elise. All right, Elise. I think that says vampire. I like it. Caleb vampire. Mm -hmm. 
poison. Release Rock Caleb's remains to the cemetery, church, graveyard. She did promise Caleb they would still be neighbors. He just moved from the other house to this one. So she did keep her word to him. At least you're only a murderess. You're not also a liar. Not today, anyways. Hmm, I know. So Elise went to pay her respects, try to give him some closure on his life that he thought was going to be eternal. Oh, Caleb, but I'm sorry you had to go so quickly. I tried the bees, and I had to send poison to finish you off, and I didn't even so much as get a picture. Please forgive me, Caleb. So Elise mourned her mister, left an offering. Success, Elise's gesture of respect was appreciated. <laughs> okay, go ahead. She's gonna spend a few minutes in the coffin. Uh, Elise, don't be so sad. Hey, Mom. Mom, I'm so excited that you came with me. This was a big event today. Honey, but vampire, really? Weren't you scared? Oh, Mom, don't worry. What matters is that I'm gonna have some vampire baby or babies. Aren't you proud of me? I just thought that for Halloween, we might as well make it, you know, exciting or different. Look, Mom, those are vampire babies in there. All right, Elise, I hope you know what you're doing. Of course I do, Mom. Thanks for coming with me. Bye. It's 1 a.m. Get everybody to bed. Get everybody fed. The kids sat around enjoying the pizza. It looks like it's a big hit. Ember, feeling ignored. Someone was supposed to play with you. Mm-hmm. All right, everybody to bed. Put him to bed. Yeah, I'm gonna clean your dirty ass, all right? I mean, that's right, I'm strict. I even asked you permission before I clean your ass. Okay, everybody to sleep. Yeah, it's a good idea, Lamar. Go for it. Sorry that you're tense about doing extra credit work. It's Tuesday. Hi, kids. Have a good day at school. Hi, Dasani. Hi, Brandy. Bye, Amber. All right, everybody work hard. All right, Elise, time to get up. <gasps> You gotta clean this, Elise. Did you take care of your bees? You're having your first bad time with Grandpa. That's Gerard. These are Stanley the detective's kids. We gotta pay bills. You know they make you happy, Elise. There you go. Yes, enjoy them. This one's sad. You're gonna get a bath and you're gonna learn to potty. You're a squiggly boy, but you're dirty. He's just a natural boy. Maybe he'll be tanky like Ted. Hello, Miss Maid. Aww, isn't that cute? Everybody potty training. Mm-hmm. All right. What happened with Lamar? Are you not an A student yet? He's a B student. You need to get a skill up. I'm gonna have you ride that bike. You pass out up there, I don't care. Oh, let's see the kids are watching each other and their potty skill went up. Everybody's, I think, napping now, except for these two kids that are just kind of watching each other. The kids are having meltdowns, at least. So but go make your pizza. Girls are getting up, starting their thing. Oh, good, the girls are doing their homework. Oh, you're gonna give them a little attention. Take care of your family, Elise. Enjoy these days. Come on, guys. Come eat. Oh, Myra's here. Come in. Lamar, I think he just hit level three fitness. Yes. Yeah, Lamar, get something to eat. Oh, my gosh. How cute. Myra, honey, you can't stay here anymore. Ember needs to sleep in that bed now. Thank you. Everybody needs to sleep, kid. You're ruining it for everybody. Mm-hmm. There we go. You're not waking anybody up. Everybody up. Get up. Everybody go to school and work hard. You're just gonna be a little tinky today. Good, it's okay. You can still work hard. Everybody work hard. Oh, I wonder when I'll go to school. Your pizza's spoiled. You don't need to be cleaning up. That's why I hired you a maid. Everything's in order. You're just waiting for the kids to be born. Any second now, you're gonna go into labor. Their skills are great. Oh, shit. No, 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 no. They didn't leave it on my lot. Where is it? Milo, why didn't you get the grocery delivery? Wasting my time on this shit. Dad, you could have freaking grabbed that and load the bag. The kids are gonna be home soon, Elise. Do you think you can make some dinner here? Thank you, Elise. This one's a little hungry. Okay. Thank you, Lamar. You are so out of here, man. He says you're gonna work on the project. What's this kid need? Mm-hmm. There we go. Everybody's doing what they're doing. Lamar, we're gonna work you till you go, buddy. Elise, are you helping your daughter? Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. You think the kids are gonna be vampires? Lamar, we are aging you up up and moving you out today. I need your help with the kids first. Everybody's got to pull their weight around here. This is what you spend a lot of time doing in this Let's Play is finding everybody and figuring out what they need to do next.
So the kids are potty training. Elise is in labor, and I just cannot wait to find out what she's having. Elise Fisher is coming up to the nursery after her first encounter with the occult and meeting with the vampire, Caleb. Will she have one baby, two babies, three babies? Will they be vampires? We've got a girl, Tessa, 10. Okay, and we have a boy, Rex, 11. And in the morning, we'll age up the babies. Lamar, let's get your skin straight before you go. I'm getting ready to blow this taco stand. You big ass family driving me crazy. I'm ready to be on my own. Hey, Brandy came by. Everybody's so happy about Lamar aging up. Yes. The time has come for you to go. Lamar, it has been a pleasure having you as a part of this family. Be happy. Bye, Lamar. Finish up. I see Brandy has got the typical teenage attitude in this house. She's got the cutest little dimples of eye, but don't make that face. Nobody wants to see an angry dimple face. You have the treehouse all to yourself. Just a little bit more. Do you have any makeup work to do? Brandy 5 is taking a late night bike ride to try to get her fun up. I need sleeping people, so I I can age up the babies. What were you doing up there? Oh, at least you need to come and feed this kid. You can leave this prepping and go and feed the kid. What does that? Tessa and Rex. Rather pale. I bet you Rex is definitely a vampire. And you know, Elise is not pale. Tessa's like a Elise's coloring. And Rex is more like Caleb's coloring. Elise, you're taking care of the kid. Good boy. Elise is excited to age up the babies and see if they're vampires. She's making a big breakfast. Elise, just cut that out. You fed that kid already. Mm-hmm. Let's age up these babies. Come on, Rex. Age up. Rex is going to be cautious. Brandy, you're done. Okay, but I'm not crazy to get you out of here yet. I'm not even pregnant. You need to come up and age up the other baby. I don't know. When do we know if they're a vampire or not? When they're toddlers? Tessa's gonna be wiggly. So Elise is bringing Tessa down. And it's time for you to get pregnant. Who's gonna be the next victim? Let's check it out in cast. Maybe there I can tell. Yep. Well, surprisingly, Tessa is the vampire. She's got two different color eyes. Tessa 10 is the vampire. Rex is not a vampire. Mm-hmm. That's a look. All right, Joe. Well, I think this is a good place to leave Elise for this episode. Oh, yeah. We got a lot done. Definitely the most exciting thing to have happened in this episode is our baby vampire. That's right. There she is. Tessa 10. Isn't she lovely? Mm-hmm. Elise is just getting a kick out of her. Well, Joe, thanks for joining Elise on this episode of the 100 Baby Black Widow. We are 11 kids in, and we just had our first occult baby daddy in Caleb Valtori. What's gonna be of Elise and the family as we go through this this occult October. Our next episode will pick up with a courtship right away. Will it be another vampire? Will it be a werewolf this time? Maybe a mermaid? You'll have to watch and find out. Well, Joe, thanks again. And if you're not Joe, would you make Mama Fig happy and like and subscribe? All right, Elise. Try not to get in too much trouble while we're gone. See you next time. Mm-hmm. Bye-bye. Yeah. Bye, Milo. Bye-bye, Milo.